In this tutorial, we're going to examine how to use the Creative Commons search engine that is built into Mozilla Firefox. So first of all, we have to be in Firefox. This will not work within Internet Explorer. We need to drop down our search choices here and pick Creative Commons. Okay, now the Creative Commons search engine is usually installed by default. If it's not, you can certainly find it uh, on the internet and install it. And let's say that we were a grade 4 student searching for some information on a Saskatchewan animal, like a coyote. Now lots of us are used to using Google Images. The difficulty with Google Images is that we really don't know when we find an image very often whether or not it's legal to use that image. When we search through Creative Commons, we can guess that at the very least we can use the image as long as we attribute the image to its originator or creator. So I'm going to click on search here. That brings us into the Creative Commons search area and you notice that there are a couple of different choices for images. There's Google Image Search and Flickr Image Search. Now we've already looked at Flickr in another tutorial on compfight.com, so let's just look at Google Images this time. Notice up here we can specify. If I want to use the picture for commercial purposes, I can check that box. Needless to say, that's going to limit the number of pictures that come up considerably. In this case, I've also said I want to be able to modify, adapt, or build upon the image, which is fairly common in Creative Commons licenses, so we can leave that on. First thing you notice that is a lot of these images come from Flickr, so we might have been just as far ahead to use the Flickr search because it's a lot easier in Flickr to find out who to attribute the image to. But we'll keep looking here, find an interesting image. Let's say I like this one down here. So I click on it and it says I can find the image here on wikimedia.org. And it says it's commons.wikimedia.org which suggests that it's a Creative Commons licensed image. Now when I go here all I really get is the image itself but if I scroll down you'll see that I see the author here is Brian Harry. Now I can attribute that image to the person who took it. I can also get a full resolution version of that image, a larger image, by clicking there. And if I wanted more information, since this is from the National Park Service in the United States, I could click here to see what their copyright policy is. It does say, however, that it's in the public domain, so that means I can use it as long as I attribute it to the author or the creator. And that's basically how we would go about using Creative Commons Search to search through either Google Images or Flickr for images that we can use with a clear conscience.